All right, guys. Well, uh, I'm sure you've seen them on YouTube. Funny. But I uh, got one of these for my wife for her uh, birthday present a few months ago. And um, thought we'd uh, take a few shots with her. Maybe show you if you haven't seen one of these before. Um, don't really see how you can. But these things uh, break down. You store it all in the buttstock. Takes about a couple seconds to um, break it down here. You can actually break it down and leave your magazine in the uh, receiver section. And then you conveniently have everything. Oops, forgot. They made that where it goes in. And then the whole rifle is contained. And you can cut that in pretty much any size backpack. Great for camping. Good, great for small game. Such like that. I figured we would try with a couple of different ammos and see how much stuff we could actually hit with it. Um, let me uh, turn you around here. Uh, we're shooting from my porch like I usually shoot. Uh, you can see out there I have one of my arts and targets 10 round steel. It's roughly uh, about 45 yards. And we're just going to shoot with the iron sights to see how uh, how well we can shoot, so. As I was afraid, jam number one with the Winchester stuff. Well, not so well with the Winchester, but we kicked out an extra round there, but only one jam. Let's try it with the uh, CCIs. You need to aim high, like a, I guess you'd call it a 12 o'clock hold on a target. So let's try uh, shooting that way and see how we hit. Yep, if you hold it high on the target, you hit every time. It ain't so great with the uh, lead or the wide hollow points. So, well, there you go guys. A look at the A7. Not bad. Um, it's just a little picky on ammo. Feed it CCIs or some straight. <clears throat> Seems to like non-hollow point. And not crazy about lead, so. But um, other than that, not a bad little gun if you want to keep in your back.